Section 16 of Purgatory by Rev. F. X. Shoup, S. J. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by John Brandon. Part 1. Chapter 16. Haynes of Purgatory. St. Antoninus and the Religious. Father Rossignoli on a quarter of an hour in Purgatory. Brother Angelicus that which shows still more the rigour of purgatory is that the shortest period of time there appears to be of very long duration every one knows that days of enjoyment pass quickly and appear short whilst the time passed in suffering we find very long oh how slowly pass the hours of the night for the poor sick who spend them in sleeplessness and pain we may say that the more intense the pain the longer appears the shortest duration of time this rule furnishes us with a new means of estimating the sufferings of purgatory we find in the annals of the friars minors under the year twelve eighty five a fact which is also related by st antoninus in his summa a religious man suffering for a long time from a painful malady allowed himself to be overcome by discouragement and entreated god to permit him to die that he might be released from his pains he did not think that the prolongation of his sickness was a mercy of god who wished to spare him more severe suffering in answer to his prayer god charged his angel guardian to offer him his choice either to die immediately and submit to the pains of purgatory for three days or to bear his sickness for another year and then go directly to heaven the sick man having to choose between three days in purgatory and one year of suffering upon earth did not hesitate but took the three days in purgatory after the lapse of an hour his angel went to visit him in his sufferings on seeing him the poor patient complained that he had been left so long in those torments and yet he added you promised that i should remain here but three days how long asked the angel do you think you have already suffered at least for several years he replied and i had to suffer but three days no said the angel that you have been here only one hour the intensity of the pain deceives you as to the time it makes an instant appear a day and an hour years alas then said he with a sigh i have been very blind and inconsiderate in the choice i have made pray god my good angel to pardon me and permit me to return to earth i am ready to submit to the most cruel maladies not only for two years but as long as it shall please him rather six years of horrible suffering than one single hour in this abyss of unutterable agonies the following is taken from a pious author quoted by father rossignoli two religious of eminent virtue vied with each other in leading a holy life one of them fell sick and learned in a vision that he should soon die that he should be saved and that he should remain in purgatory only until the first mass should be celebrated for the repose of his soul full of joy at these tidings he hastened to impart them to his friend and entreated him not to delay the celebration of the mass which was to open heaven to him he died the following morning and his holy companion lost no time in celebrating the holy sacrifice after mass whilst he was making his thanksgiving and still continuing to pray for his departed friend the latter appeared to him radiant with glory but in a tone sweetly plaintive he asked why that one mass of which he stood in need had been so long delayed my dear brother replied the religious i delayed so long you say i do not understand you what did you not leave me to suffer more than a year before offering mass for the repose of my soul indeed my dear brother 
i commenced mass immediately after your death not a quarter of an hour had elapsed then regarding him with emotion the blessed soul cried out how terrible are those expiatory pains since they have caused me to mistake minutes for a year serve god my dear brother with an exact fidelity in order that you may avoid those chastisements farewell i fly to heaven where you will soon join me this severity of divine justice in regard to the most fervent souls is explained by the infinite sanctity of god who discovers stains in that which appears to us most pure the annals of the order of st francis speak of a religious whose eminent sanctity had caused him to be surnamed angelicus he died in odor of sanctity at the monastery of the friars minors in paris and one of his brethren in religion a doctor in theology persuaded that after a life so perfect he had gone directly to heaven and that he stood in no need of prayers omitted to celebrate for him three masses of obligation which according to the custom of the institute were offered for each departed member after a few days whilst he was walking and meditating in a retired spot the deceased appeared before him enveloped in flames and said to him in a mournful voice dear master i beg of you have pity upon me what brother angelicus do you need my assistance i am detained in the fires of purgatory awaiting the fruit of the holy sacrifice which you should have offered three times for me beloved brother i thought you were already in possession of eternal glory after a life so fervent and exemplary as yours had been i could not imagine that there remained any pain to be suffered alas alas replied the departed no one can believe with what severity god judges and punishes his creatures his infinite sanctity discovers in our best actions defective spots imperfections which displease him he requires us to give an account even to the last farthing usque ad novissimum quadrantum end of section sixteen recording by john brandon